Hello friends, welcome to TechQuest channel. This is for the medical technologies for by your tech. In this video, we will discuss about turnaround time, which is very important topic, one of the quality control indicator. Turnaround time is the time the lab investigation is ordered by the physicians to the final delivery or dispatch of the report. The process of turnaround time involves ordering, collecting, identification, transport, sample preparation, analysis, reporting, interpretation, and action. When internal and external quality control measured to check the quality of the lab results, the turnaround time is one of the best quality indicator to evaluate the effectiveness and efficiency of the lab and the satisfaction of clinicians and the patients. Clinicians are more concerned with service quality that includes availability, cost, relevance, and timelines. In addition to test errors, clinicians decide a quick, dependable, and cost-effective solution. Despite of technology, transport, and training of staff, turnaround time remains a cause of patient and the clinician's dissatisfaction. Timely report can reduce the time of stay in the emergency department as patient gets the treatment early. Timely report can avoid extra test to minimize the cost effectiveness. Early report, early diagnosis, early treatment. What are the test or stat test that needs to minimize the turnaround time? We have different turnaround time that depends on the patient condition, wards, sample type and the test type and many other factors. For the outpatient samples that are routine should be completed in seven hours of time and the post analytic phase, the dispatch of the report may be delayed as these reports are released in batches. Outpatient stat samples, some of the outpatient needs reports on the same day for admission or the therapeutic changes. This sample should be collected in priority and transported to the lab as early as possible. Emergency department samples. All samples ordered from emergency department are treated as stat samples. The turnaround time is strictly followed as the early reports can save the patient. The survival chances are better with early reports. The intensive care unit samples are treated as stat samples and the turnaround time is very important. Coronary care unit samples or stat samples, example, are cardiac markers. The operation theater samples or stat samples as the lab results make the diagnosis and major decisions to be taken by the lab results. Example, frozen sections in histopathology samples. Post-operative samples or stat samples. Inpatient samples, some of the samples received from other wards are so stat samples if the physicians ask for stat since they have to make a decision to shift the patient to intensive care units. These samples should be treated as stat and turnaround time should be followed. For example, cardiac markers. Request for tests that are not listed as stat sample must be accompanied by an explanation from the requesting physician and approach to the supervisory technologist or the pathologist. They have to call and notify the lab of the request and the reason for STAT. Chronic use of non-STAT test without prior information will be referred to the lab manager and disciplinary action may be taken in some of the hospitals as this can waste the technologist time. How to reduce the turnaround time? Turnaround time starts when the consultant orders a test to the sample re received in the lab to avoid delay in the sample collection and transport to the lab. The phlegotomy center should be ideally be situated in the central laboratory. The efficiency of phlebotomist also matters in collecting and sending the sample to the lab on time. Pneumatic tubes help to reduce the transport from different wards, but being it's too costly, provisions may not be feasible and possible for all hospitals. After the sample reaches the lab, 
from the ward or the pre-mortem center. Details of the patient are entered into the system. Employing laboratory information system can be time saving for the process. Sample distribution is a critical step in ensuring proper workflow. Centrification of samples and checking for clot, hemolysis, lipemic or insufficient samples and rejection of samples are important steps that needs an expert and efficient hand. The order for redraw should be done for all rejected samples to avoid delay for recollection of proper samples. In analytical phase, many labs have automated instrument with high throughput. The instruments make dilutions and repeat the test when the results are high or low. The technologist should span the time. The test needs longer time should be started first and the automated methods before the manual test method to manage multitasking. The technologist should be knowledgeable about the approximate time taken by the instrument and check for any interruption in the instrument when there is a delay. The reflex tests are ordered. Example, reticulocyte count if the hemoglobin level is less than 8 mg per dl. The primary test report should be given to the clinicians. Any instrument issue or the quality control issue that makes delay should be noted. Validation of reports should not be delayed by the technologist. Many times the reports are ready in the instrument, but they are not released in the LIS or the printed report is not given to the clinicians. Overall, the turnaround time needs a teamwork of the lab personnel to minimize the time. Major impact of LIS in turnaround time. For small labs and a small hospital setup, the LIS may not be feasible. But for multi-speciality hospitals, LIS plays a major role. LIS makes not only easy, reduce the manpower, saving time, and it also reduce the clerical errors in the lab. The doctor order is transferred to the pre-bottomist immediately and the time of sample collection is faster. The registration of the patient details and test order are automatically done in the sample receiving centers. LIS communicates with the instrument by bidirectionally and only required tests are done from the sample. It can add reflex test automatically. Middleware a software program available nowadays that communicate between the instrument and the LIS and make the validation easier. Middleware validate the test results by normal range, delta range and the quality control results. This software can order reruns and auto dilutions and start priority samples first. We can have a different color barcode labels for the samples to differentiate from protein samples. Adding extra alphabet before the accession number can make the LIS to instruct the instrument as stat and these samples can be processed immediate. Samples turnaround time depends on the test lab setup, efficiency of phlebotomist, distance from the lab to the collection center, availability of technologist and the type of instrument and equipment available in the lab. Each lab can fix their turnaround time for each test. It is difficult to fix the uniform time. Causes of delayed turnaround time. Insufficient sample volume is the most common cause of sample rejection. Sample transport after collection, sample misplaced causes delay. Equipment breakage is the most frequent cause followed by a reagent stockout, machine maintenance and technical staff oversight. Failure to modify work schedules to coordinate available manpower and the lack of manpower. There are activity overlaps caused by the superlative supervision, mentorship and intensive training, kept the lab staff busier and delayed turnaround time. Most of the Delayed turnaround time noted in the morning time due to availability of the instrument. Staff changing the duty shifts and running the quality control during that time. If you have a own lab, the timely report can get more confidence from clients, referrals that can raise the number of samples. It is always 
better to have two analytic instrument and both are ready to run all stat tests. If one instrument is down or on service mode, the other instrument can be used for stat samples. Make sure one instrument is loaded with reagent and good quality control results before taking other instrument for running calibrations, quality control or maintenance procedures. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.